Yes, she was here. For the first time, Miriam Makiba came to New York City, as far as I know. A man made the movie, Lionel Rogerson, called Come Back Africa, which played in the neighborhood. And it was a beautiful movie. We all saw it. But in order for her to come to this country, she had to have a job and to work. And Lana Roberson came to my husband, Max Gordon, who had the Vanguard, who said, would you like to give the room to Miriam McKeever so she could perform? And my husband loved the movie and said, oh, yes, absolutely. Miriam was a phenomena, you know, it's a salsa, and we're all doing clicking all night. Click away. And then uh, a gentleman came down, among others, to hear her named Harry Belafonte. And he fell in love with her, too. Well, Harry was much more powerful <laughs> than we were. And so he whisked her away from Lionel Rogerson and my husband, Max Gordon. Took her away. If I were Miriam, I would have gone with Harry. <laughs> I mean, he had a whole tour arranged for her. He promoted her. It's his culture as well. He made a big thing out of that. Miriam became very successful, and I brought her out and introduced her to the West. It was through me and through Comeback Africa that she got her start. 